It's time! Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Aljamain Sterling. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a music coach fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Aljamain Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Are you ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Sterling gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Oh, a single collar tie there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, nice straight left there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Single collar tie now. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Sterling's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful left hand counter. Big right hand there. Jab hurt him a little bit. Sterling's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, wow. Oh! Submission defense there. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Spinning back fist. Oh, nice. Nice. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing a beautiful punch. Really has got his opponent on notice here. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. Let's get that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Got the single collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Spinning back fist. 20 seconds to go. Oh! Knocked out by the spinning back fist! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Big down. elbow there. Oh, straight right. Single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All that is working. All right, DC. Let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose. Yeah, man. These guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. tie here. Sterling's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Sterling gets caught with that punch. His liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Do it again. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner. There you go. There you go. Close guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. Let's see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. There it is. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Look at him push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. Oh, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out. Just go for the finish. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Nice loop and punch. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Single collar tie now. Another clinch position. Beautiful head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses Quick with a hit. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high cross. Oh. Takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back and forth we go. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Sterling. Come on, come on, come on. Well, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round.
doing what you're doing. Push the pace. This guy can't have you. He can't even see you in there. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He's oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Sterling goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was... Oh, yeah! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, big punch land. Oh, spinning cactus. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Nice head kick. Watch the shot. Whoa! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a performance! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliata has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce Contreras! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.